year ago, when we tested Suzuki's G6-8S, we were impressed but curious about the possibility of a fully fared version to rival other middleweight parallel twin sport bikes like the Yamaha YZF, R7 and Aprilia RS660. Fortunately, our curiosity has been satisfied, and we've had the opportunity to ride it. By incorporating everything we admired about the award-winning S model, along with a more protective fairing for wind resistance and retaining the exceptional engine, Suzuki has created what could be its most adaptable sport bike yet. The current era of motorcycling is witnessing a surge in popularity for parallel twin engines. This configuration has been embraced by all four major Japanese manufacturers and a significant portion of European ones as well. The reasons behind this trend vary, from cost efficiency in manufacturing to emissions regulations and the engine's user-friendly power delivery. Regardless of the rationale, parallel twin engines are poised to remain a prominent feature in motorcycles for the foreseeable future. Suzuki's latest 776 cubic centimeters, 270 degree crank twin engine represents a significant leap forward for the company. While Suzuki may have arrived a bit late to the parallel twin party, there's no denying the success of this new platform. Over the past couple of years, Suzuki has introduced four new models utilizing this engine, including a pair of V-Strom adventure bikes, the aforementioned 8S, and now the 8R. However, the question arises, what is the purpose of this newest sport bike, and does it signal the eventual end of the G-Sex, or 600? Reflecting on our experiences with previous models powered by this engine, we recall the versatility and appeal of the 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin. In adventure models, it delivers the broad, tractable power needed for off-road excursions, while in the 8S, it offers excellent real-world performance suitable for urban commuting or spirited rides through mountain roads. Translating this flexibility into a fully fared sport bike seems like a natural progression, providing accessible performance without the need to constantly push the bike to its limits. Our experience over two days with the g 6 8 are surpassed expectations, both on the streets and the track. The claimed output stands at 81.8 horsepower at 8,500 rpm and 57.5 pound FT of peak torque at 6,800 rpm. Comparatively, our V-Strom 800DE recorded 72.2 horsepower at 8,550 rpm and 50.1 pound FT of torque at 5,550 rpm on the Cycle World Dyno. The engine's 270-degree crank design echoes the sound and delivery of a V-twin, akin to Suzuki's SV650. This new parallel twin offers advantages like fewer parts, reduced emissions, lighter weight, and easier packaging. During our day riding the G-Sex, 8 are in the Julian, California mountains, we encountered varied conditions, from wet, cold roads post-morning rain to superb, grippy dry pavement en route to Borrego Springs on the S-22. Notably, compared to the 8S, the 8R's fairing provided a calm pocket of air behind the helmet, accentuating the smoothness of the twin counterbalanced engine. It remained incredibly refined across its near 10, 000 RPM range. Cruising at 75 miles per hour in sixth gear, the engine's 5,000 RPM barely transmitted vibrations to the rider through the foot pegs or handlebars. The engine's tractability and broad power delivery excel on twisty mountain roads, offering ample torque for exiting tight hairpins and flexibility in gear selection, reducing the need to push the engine to its limits constantly. Maneuvering around town is equally effortless, thanks to Suzuki's low RPM assist system, assist and slipper clutch, and the tractable engine. Exploring the Suzuki Intelligent Ride System SIRS, on rain-slicked roads showcased features like the Suzuki Drive Mode Selector SDMS, Suzuki Traction Control System SCS, and the Bidirectional Quick Shift System, powered by Ride-by-Wire technology. The G-Sex 8R offers three distinct ride modes. Mode A, Active, provides the sharpest throttle response and a direct power delivery. Mode B, Basic, offers a softer throttle response and less aggressive power delivery. While Mode C, Comfort, maintains peak output but with a mellower throttle response and power delivery. Navigating the electronic rider interface, akin to the V-Strom 800D and 8S, is intuitive. With controls conveniently located on the left handlebar pod, a mode button, and an upslash down rocker switch, switching between modes is seamless, even on the move. Importantly, selected modes persist through key cycles or ignition resets. During a rainy morning, we experimented with all modes before settling on mode B. 
The traction control system, also adjustable on the fly, provides additional reassurance, maintaining its selected setting even when the bike is powered off. While the SIRS system lacks the extensive adjustments of high-end sport bikes, its simplicity and effectiveness complement the G-Sex 8R's ethos. The following day at Chukwala Valley Raceway, the 8R's track capabilities came to the fore, especially knowing its homologation for Moto America's Twins Cup competition. The bike proved to be a joy to ride, with its street-friendly engine characteristics seamlessly transitioning to the track. Notably, its broad power and torque distribution shone brightest. Equipped with sticky Dunlop Sport Max Q5S tires, we opted for Mode A and TC set to 1, enjoying 4 hours of exhilarating track time. Exploring various gear choices around Chukwala, we discovered that much of the track could be conquered in 4th gear, eliminating the need for frequent downshifting to 3rd. The engine's torque delivers the necessary pull to navigate mid-speed corners effortlessly, and by conserving downshifts, it alleviates the frenzy during corner entries. This allows riders to focus on their lines and delve deeper into braking zones. When shifting becomes inevitable, the quick shifter ensures seamless transitions, almost instantaneous in nature, while the slipper clutch aids in maintaining stability during corner entry. In essence, the engine's performance on the track offers enjoyable and manageable power, preventing rapid fatigue. As a track day companion, it promises abundant fun and stands poised to compete in the Twins Cup racing scene. Similarly, the g 8 8R closely resembles the 8S in terms of chassis, albeit with some notable distinctions. Both models share an identical 57.7-inch wheelbase, with matching front-end geometry featuring 25 degrees of rake and 4.1 inches of trail, as well as 31.9-inch seat heights. They boast a steel backbone-style frame and bolt-on steel subframes. Braking duties are handled by Nissan 4-piston radial mount calipers up front, gripping a pair of 310mm discs, complemented by a single-piston caliper and 240mm disc at the rear. Cast aluminum wheels, measuring 17 by 3.5 inches at the front and a generous 17 by 5.5 inches at the rear. Come wrapped in 120-70-17 and 180-55-17 Dunlop Roat Sport 2 tires as standard. However, the most significant disparity between the 8R and 8S lies in the suspension setup. While the Naked variant employs KIB units both front and rear, the R model opts for a Showa SFEP separate function fork, big piston, fork with 41mm inner tubes up front. This unit lacks adjustability but offers 5.1 inches of travel. At the rear, the 8R utilizes a Showa shock with preload adjustment, providing the same 5.1 inches of travel. The handlebars mount to the top of the 8RS triple clamp instead of the 8S taller moto style bar. This puts the rider's weight over the front end and creates a slightly more forward-leaning position behind the fairing. Arms have a slight drop to the bars when upright and are pretty much level when tucked in. The foot peg position is identical to the 8S, which is comfortable and roomy compared to most full-on super sport bikes like Suzuki's own G-Sex or 600, with a slight bend at the knee for this 5 foot 11 inch tester, proving relaxed and never cramped. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.